Hey guys, Deanne Taylor here. So in a previous video, I showed you how you can create a plugin action in Copilot by using a Power Platform connector. In this video, I'm going to show you how, again, to create that plugin action in Copilot, but this time I'm going to use a Power Automate flow. I'm going to get right into it right after this. The first thing that I need to do before I can create a plugin action in Copilot Studio is I need to actually create a Power Automate flow. And I've already done that, but I did want to show you real quick what that Power Automate flow looks like. So you can see here that we're starting with this Copilot skills. And this is basically what we saw before when this was still called Power Virtual Agents. So you're just gonna look for Copilot here. This is the data that Copilot is actually going to pass on to this Power Automate flow. So you see here, I'm asking for an email address and then I'm saying, please enter your email address. After this, I'm going to query for contacts in Dynamics 365. And then I only want to bring back contacts where the email address equals the email address that we had in the input in the step above. Then I have a couple of conditions here. So I'm saying here, if the, right, if the list row actions comes back with an empty statement right so i didn't find anything that's what this means we're saying empty body list rows value <clears throat> if that statement is true then it's actually going to compose a message to say sorry we don't have a contact id for you on file so basically what this means this condition is if the previous step of list rows come ba comes back with no rows, right? When the list row action is empty, if that is true, then I want to compose a message that says, sorry, we don't have a contact ID for you on file. Now, if I do get rows back, then I'm actually going to say, let me just move over here. I just wanna get the value, right? Of that record, because remember we said here that we only want one row to be returned. So what we're doing here in this particular section over here, we're saying from that list of rows, that one record, give me the contact ID. So that's what you're seeing over here. That's all that I'm doing here. And then when we go back here to respond to Copilot, what you'll see there is that we're basically putting both outputs in here, right? The output of Compose 2 and the output of Compose 1, because it's only going to follow one of those paths, right? Either yes or no. So now that you have created your Power Automate flow, now let me show you how we can now create a plugin action in Copilot Studio. Now that we are in Copilot Studio, we can go ahead and create that plugin action. You can do that by navigating the topics and then you can go to plugin actions or you can click here on add and then you can just click here on plugin action. So you can see here that I have a lot of different things that I can use here, connectors, custom connector skills. But like I said earlier, I really wanted to show you how we can create the plugin actions from a flow. So I'm just gonna filter out so that I can only see flows. Now, the name of the flow I wanna use is this, Copilot check for contact on email. So I'm gonna click search here, and then I should see here, here we go. This is it. Check for contact on email. And this 
will now open this window that you see here. So here there's really nothing that I can do, right? So this is just to show you that you're using this Power Automate flow. So I'm gonna click on Next. And then you can see some other things here, right? You have some action details, which I can edit in here. I have my inputs and I have my outputs in here as well. So you can, like I said, edit that. You can click on that and make changes or you can just go ahead, you can just go ahead and click finish and then go back to that plug in action and then make those changes, however you wanna do that. So now we're gonna click here on plug in actions. And let's just see here, this one, check for contact on email, is the one that I just created. So a couple of things that you want to do here right so you can see here that the plugin action name is copilot check for contact on email so it's basically just copying over whatever the name of that flow is and if you look here you can see here that this is just the name of this plugin action and that's just for internal identification right so ai is not really looking at that so i'm going to say i'm going to call this my new login check for contact on email okay then the model display name as you can see here this helps ai determine when to use this tool so if you modify this field it could affect the accuracy of dynamic chaining right that's something that's also in preview but i'm going to talk about that in a later video so again this is kind of you're telling it what it's doing so i'm just gonna change this and as you can see here what i'm gonna do here is i'm going to change this and say query for contact id now the model description again helps ai determine when to use this particular plugin, right? Again, this also has something to do with that dynamic chaining, but what you can do here is, again, you can change this, right? So you can do something very similar here where you can say, right, we are using this to query for a contact ID. Or you can just say, okay, this runs a query, right? This is more of a description in Dynamics 365 to find a contact ID. Then we're gonna go into the inputs. So this is really, right, how is the bot going to fill out this data, right? So you can see here, this is bringing this over from that Power Automate flow that I just saw, showed you, right? The display name in that flow was email. And then the description was, please enter your email address again, right? This helps AI determine how to fill out this information. Now that's the only input that I have in here. So I'm going to go to outputs now. And from here, we can either have, if we want to respond to the user, which of course we want, right? Otherwise, what's the use of them interacting with Copilot? We can actually have AI dynamically generate a message or we can create our own message. Now, if you remember, we had two different outputs, right? We had an output and I'm going to go ahead output um, and kind of show you here. This is the contact ID output, but where that was coming from, I'm going to show you that real quick. So. Let's go back here real quick to that Power Automate flow so I can show you what I'm talking about. So in Copilot, you saw that the output was called output.contactid. That's coming from this field. Now I actually have different outputs, right? As you can see here, depending on whether or not this list rows has values in it right so that doesn't really matter the only thing that's important is that contact id so that we're actually going to submit that message so what i could do here then is i could say let me just remove this real quick your contact 
ID is, and then I can say output contact ID. Now the only thing is that if there is not a contact ID, this might not look really good. So I'm going to change this. I'm going to say not available. Or I'm going to say not on file. And then I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now the next thing that we need to do is go back here into Copilot Studio. And then again, we can create a topic here. Well, let's first save this. So let's go ahead and create a new topic and front blank. And then you can add some trigger phrases here. I need my contact ID and whatever other phrases, contact ID, right? whatever phrases you want to put in there. Then I'm going to add, I'm going to call an action here and I'm going to click here on plugin preview again. Here is my plugin. And then all I have to do now, or all I want to do now is I want to end my current topic. And this is going to be my new topic. All right. All right, now let's take this baby for a spin. Let's actually close out those properties. So I'm going to go ahead and test this. So I'm going to enter it. What is my contact ID? And as you can see here, it's now responding to me by asking me, what is the text? Now, this is not a very clear message, right? So I rather have Copilot ask, what is your email address? Because the end user is not going to understand what Copilot is looking for. Now, the reason that Copilot is asking for text is because the names being used for the flow inputs are stored in Power Automate and we can't go into Power Automate and edit that. So that's why you're seeing this. Now, Microsoft is aware of this and they're working on, on fixing this issue. So, so that instead of what is the text, we'll get something like, what is your email address? So I'm just going to go ahead and enter, I'm going to say my email address is annasmith at email.com. And then it should, there you go. It's now giving me back my contact ID. But what happens if I actually have, right, we saw this in the flow, so I'm going to do this again. What is your contact ID? I'm going to say Anna at google.com, which does not exist. And there you go. Your contact ID is not on file. But hopefully you can kind of see how this is really going to cut down on the creation of topics, right? Because this is a very, very quick way to create a topic and get all the information that you need from Power Automate directly back here to the bot. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching. Until next time.